Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to fix Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 ECG not working. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So the step one is check compatibility. So ensure that the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 is compatible with the ECG feature. Because the ECG features is in only available in certain countries and regions. So ensure that, that your country and region support ECG feature. Okay. Also, make sure that uh, you have a compatible Samsung smartphone paired with your watch. Because why I am telling this when you open a Samsung health monitoring app, you will see that not supported. You need a Samsung phone to use Samsung health monitor. Okay. Also, when you simple, when you go to ECG mode, like when you from right swipe right until you find a ECG and here when you simple tap on learn more. You will see a message that you need a Samsung phone to use Samsung health monitoring. Okay, so be ensure that you have a Samsung phone with our latest version because a previous version is not supported ECG, a Samsung health monitoring feature. Okay, so once you have a Samsung phone, then you can simply pair it with your watch and then you can simply download this app. It looks like this logo. So right now I have not a Samsung phone, then I am not able to see any app like this on my Play Store. Okay. And also this app is not available in Play Store. Once you simple connect your watch, it will already also pop up. So this app will automatically installed on your smartphone. Okay. After that, you can simple open it and then you can simple measure it. Okay. So the next step is update software so ensure both the watch and smartphone have the latest software update updated softwares can lead to functional issue so firstly you can simple check that your smartphone have a latest version then you can simple open the settings and then go to software update and then open it and here click on download and install okay so it will take some time approx two to three minutes and then you can simple check that your software is updated or not if not, you can simple here see a download button. Then you can simple download and install the latest version. Okay. Right now my watch is up to date. Okay. Also you can check that your smartphone is updated. Also the Samsung health monitoring app is also up to date. Once the app is installed, you will also it will also reflect in your Play Store. Then you can go to Play Store and then you can simple update it. Okay. Step three, the like close and reopen the Samsung health monitoring app. So once your watch and phone close is sync, so it may be sometimes issue from a network issue or a any software glitches. Then you can simple close the app completely in your watch also in your smartphone and then you can simple reopen it. Okay. If close and reopen the app is not fixed your issue, then you can simple restart your watch and also your mobile phone. So to restart your watch, you can simple press and hold the power and the bottom key together until you see a Samsung logo on your screen. Okay. So it will take two to three minutes to restart your watch. Also, you can do this by your smartphone. You can simple turn on your smartphone and then long press the home key until you see a restart option and then you can simple swipe up and then you can simple restart your phone. Okay. So if the simple restart is not resolved your issue so it's maybe a any sensor functionality so you can simple wear your when you wear your watch so you can simple check that your watch is not much tight or not much loose because the sensors are not reading your wrist okay so then you can simple not much tightly or not much loose okay so if the all steps are not resolved your issue so it's time to do a factory reset so before resetting you can simple backup your important data okay because it will completely factor your all data so to reset you can simple go to settings and then go to general and then tap on reset you will see here sorry wait and then you can simple scroll down and then tap on reset here they will ask before resetting you reset your all mobile plans if you don't want them okay so firstly they will ask for remove all mobile plans and then when you click on next then they will give you a warning that you can simple backup your data before resetting 
and then when you simple tap on reset they will again ask for one confirmation and then they will reset your watch after that you can simple reconnect it and then you can check that your ecg is working or not so if not so it's time to contact a customer support for further assistance they will ask they will provide you some steps that can help you to resolve your issue or if any software issue then you can simple raise a replacement if your watch is under warranty so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial goodbye